Hello guys, welcome to the immunology practical session. This video will serve you to know the theoretical and practical aspects of the experiments. And in this video, we will be looking into the second experiment which is differential leukocyte count. Let's get into the video. Today, we are going to see a new experiment. which is to perform differential leukocyte count. Leukocytes are of two types, agranular and granular. Lymphocyte monocytes are agranular and eosinophil, basophil and neutrophils are granular. These cells are mainly classified based on the granules present in this and also based on the lobes in the nucleus. The leukocyte count is critical to assess the inflammation, infection, allergy and malignancy. The principle behind this experiment is we collect the blood sample and we try to stain the nucleus of the white blood cells. Since RBC doesn't have a nucleus, it won't interfere with the staining and we will be able to stain all the white blood cells which have a prominent nucleus and we will be using a basic type such as GIMSA to stain the nucleic acid. It will give us a clear shape to, uh, of the nucleus to observe. The material that we need for this experiment are glass lights, lancet, cotton, ethanol, blood sample and a basic dye which is GIMSA and a microscope to observe the slide. The procedure will be explained. You need to clean uh, clean your fingers nicely with the ethanol swab and take the lancet and try to prick. Make sure that you keep the blood at the tip of your finger and keep the blood sample onto the glass light. The blood drop should be like thin or less and take the second slide and just keep it make sure the second slide is smooth in its surface on the edges and keep keep the slide close to the blood sample so that the blood will spread throughout the slide by means of a capillary action see that like that and Keep the slide at an angle of 30-35 degree and make a neat smear like this. Try to make a thin smear and allow the slide for air drying for some time. Try to discard all the uh, blood stains, the slides and cotton and everything in a properly allocated bin. Keep this uh, slide for drying. The staining should be done on a tray like this where you can uh, add the uh, ginsa stain on top of the dried uh, smear. Keep it for 2 minutes to 3 minutes based on the concentration of the and discard the dye and wash the slide through a running tap water. Run through the uh, thunder slide through the water to wash away the excess stain. Keep the slide for drying for some time before you keep it under the microscope because the stain, if the stain is there, it might uh, touch and damage or interfere with the. Once the slide is <coughs> slide is dry. And view it under the microscope. Make sure you go from the lower magnification, say 10x, and then you can increase the magnification. 
to 40x if you need to see this nucleus clearly you can go for a 100x with oil immersion like it's looked uh, slide into the microscope Always go from a low magnification to higher magnification. 